Cabrillo College learning communities are fun, supportive, and transformative learning environments where students take a combination of classes focused on a specific theme. I was kind of forced to be homeless for a little while. Right after I graduated high school, I tried taking like, I think 14 units. I just got overwhelmed. I was just taking too far advanced for what I should be taking, so I just completely dropped out. What I'm working for and we're all working for is to give the students the basic skills they need to be successful in a college classroom. In Cabrillo's learning communities, students build lasting friendships, work closely in teams as tight-knit cohorts, and interact with supportive instructors and counselors. That's the thing I told them to begin with. Yeah, have you ever had an aha? They said yes. I said, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to give you lots of things. Not all of them are going to work for you. But maybe there's one that'll go, oh, I can remember. Oh, that makes sense. That's what I want. Each day, Cabrillo Learning Communities change lives. Extended Opportunity Programs and Services Summer Migrant Program a state-funded program that provides financial, counseling, and academic support services for full-time Cabrillo students identified as educationally and economically disadvantaged. The Summer Migrant Program bridges the gap between high school and college. I take the class in summer uh, in order to start English 100 in the fall. The program serves Pajaro Valley Unified School District high school junior and senior migrant students who complete a six-week summer session earning both high school and college credits in English, reading, and counseling. STARS, which stands for Students Transitioning in Academics and Reaching Success, begins with a summer bridge program and continues through fall and spring of students' first year. We basically talk about our goals and like how to stay on tax and I enjoy writing about that because it makes me stay on track. I teach vocabulary. The English teacher reinforces it. The English teacher teaches how to write a main idea. I teach how to find one. It's a little bit different from what I'm used to, but which I really like it actually. I like the whole hands-on approach, the teaching, and just in general, it's just been a good class experience. You're just getting the idea of how to learn. In STARS, students learn college survival skills, explore career options, take courses required for transfer to a four-year university, or to receive an associate's degree. Reading and English academic learning. Real. In real, students improve their reading and writing skills in a fun, supportive learning environment. They're great instructors and they give you such insight, as well as if you have a problem, they're the best people to talk to. Just take that first step, because once you go through the door, it's a whole new world that opens up for you. Real students take English 255 and Reading 255 as linked courses to become effective readers and writers while receiving from their instructors and counselors the support needed to succeed in college. The Puente Project. Puente is open to all students that desire to transfer to a four-year college or university. Students learn about the U.S. Latino experience and social justice. They help you with, you know, to feel confident about yourself and your roots. They just make you more aware of being a Latina or being a Latino in school. In the fall and spring semesters of this year-long program, students in this tight-knit cohort take English courses, explore academic counseling, and work with a career-related mentor. We did um, a lot of research of schools. We went to a lot of different Cal States and universities. Academy for College Excellence. ACE. Formerly known as the Digital Bridge Academy, DBA, in only one semester the Academy for College Excellence empowers students to excel as full-time students, learning valuable skills required in technology workplaces. Basically you get to make friends like crazy because you're all within a whole family atmosphere. You get to know your peers as family. You see them every day, you deal with their hardships, your own hardships, and you go through ups and downs. You just start opening up. As they say, lighting the fire, it happened around, I think, the second week of the foundation course. I just started to become more assertive. Students identify their strengths and goals, acquire leadership skills, and develop academic and career plans. Probably wouldn't be in school. I'd still be in Fresno, perhaps working. Full-time job, not liking it. But thanks to being in Cabrillo and being in DVA, I would actually know what I want to do and have a better focus of it. 
And the transformation is really quite amazing. And I learned a bunch of new strategies on how to go upon things like test taking, just my whole work ethics in general. I've developed some great friends. A few of them I call my puppies since I am the oldest in the class. I've just learned to grow from, you know, just a high school student right out and drifting through life and now I know where I want to go and I can see that actually happening. I'm ready and I'm not going to get lost and I'm, I'm going to have friends and I'm just not going to be that nervous like I thought I was. It's kind of like learning how to actually come in touch with yourself in general and just and how to approach things and how to approach people and be more communicative. They changed my life because now I'm really comfortable being in school. So I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of being and talking to people. I, I could do anything. As long as I put my mind to it and I've become my own leader, I could do anything. That fire just kept, kept growing and growing until um, this. Uh, by the end of this spring semester, I ran for president. And I and next semester, I'm going to be the next president of Alpha Gamma Sigma. They've inspired me to actually keep, you know, to actually keep on going, to not just stop at a at a college, but to keep on pursuing my dream, you know, which is to go to a university. My goal is to, five years from now, be a minister and administer to women in prison. To get the career I want, which is to be a nurse. I always wanted to be a teacher. And then I just started talking to my mom about it and she was really happy and she's like, I'm proud of you and I'm glad that you decided to go on this program. I'm the first girl that goes to college. Like my parents didn't finish school. So they're pretty pr they're proud of what I'm doing because they they came here for us to have a better future and they they see that I'm actually having a better future. Cabrillo Learning Communities changing lives. Just do it. Don't put it off another day.